Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start. Clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. These are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. Now, this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember time is fluid. Time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. I felt like such a tongue twister at first. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Scorpio's mind, show me what they are hiding from Scorpio. What are they hiding from Scorpio? Wow, they have been doing some deep reflection and they are heartbroken, missing you and wanting to come rushing back to you and they're going to. Um, so this is somebody who, um, we have the hermit, the three of swords, and then the moon comes out and the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person, you know, I'm not sure who left who or how the situation happened, but after spending some time alone, they're feeling the pain, the heartbreak and missing you and wanting to come back. They even had a dream about you. They wake up thinking about you. There's something about um, a very strong bond you two have, a spiritual bond, um, energetic connection that you have where they feel you in their presence even when you're not there. So, but yeah, they've done some looking at things that hurt and um, that they kept, you know, deeply suppressed or hidden. And now they're feeling like, I really want this. I want to come back. I really want Scorpio. Let's go ahead and clarify the hermit. Whoa. So what they've really been thinking about here. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so the three of pentacles in reverse and then the ten of swords. So they have really been looking at how things didn't work out between the two of you because of betrayal. Um, the pain, It was very painful and that it was a permanent ending. It was just like, it felt so bad. Whether it was you betrayed them or they betrayed you or, or you betrayed each other, however they feel. Um, they're like things we couldn't, they're, they were thinking, not that they were, they are. Wow. Okay. So here's the thing, Scorpio, when this person shows up because they're going to, they're going to get tongue tied. I could not get my words out. And I felt like I couldn't get my words out when I started your reading. And that does not happen. Um, when I, no, I mean it can, but so this person is reflecting on how things did not work out together and it caused this permanent ending. It also is hurtful and they feel brokenhearted. The fool is at the bottom of the deck. They want a fresh new start, a new beginning, or one of you wanted that, which felt like betrayal to the other person. And um, if they were the one that wanted the new beginning, they now realize they want to come back. If you were the one that left for the new beginning, they miss you. They are heartbroken and they don't know what to do. So let's go ahead and clarify that three of swords. They're working through the pain. So we have, they keep themselves busy, you know, hobbies. Um, I even see like volunteering time to help out other places or whatever to get through the pain or keeping themselves busy with work. The page of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So that's where I'm seeing the love, the inspiration and things like that. Heartbroken, missing you, but keeping themselves busy. Um, so that way they don't message you. They're like, no. Because there's something about this was a permanent ending and it was really hard and very difficult um, for the both of you. But this person is just, even though they feel that when they feel this pain, they make themselves busy. So that way they don't think about it. They're like, I can't. Um, but yet they were reflecting here. And then when the pain comes in, then they're like, ah, they are working through the pain with, you know, self-love inspiration. I feel like an artist, um, this person, or they've started to take on some kind of hobby with art as well. Um, 
maybe even a side business where they're crafty, creative, maybe they love to cook as well, but it's it's something in an art form to help them through the pain. Let's go ahead and clarify the moon. I also get they might be working on the details of something you know, because they are going to come back. That's the thing. They're like, no, I'm going to keep myself busy, but yet they want to rush in. Like they're like, screw it. I just want to do this. I got to go and get Scorpio. I need them. But feeling that pain, they're like, I just need to keep myself busy and working. There's something they're working on too, that they want to share with you, Scorpio. So, um, this person, yeah, they're missing you. They want this commitment, this relationship. They want to mend things. They want things to feel good again. Okay. Yep. See the moon is clarified by the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. 10 of pentacles, but also the four swords came out like this person wants to build a life with you. They want a serious commitment. They want to, um, feel like at rest at easy. If, if they got you back, it would make them feel great. Now they did the dream that they had about you was about family being together, building, you know, a life together. And that was when they were resting and it made them really happy. It made them feel like this is who I want to be with. This is, you know, the person I love. And so, um, yeah, while they were resting, they were dreaming of you about a relationship and even families joining together. Um, it was, it was beautiful for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that it was also a way that, um, you know, God, the universe spirit could reach them and say, you know, you really do miss Scorpio. You really should, you know, let yourself feel the emotions of what happened. And so you can release and start to heal, um, and keeping themselves busy and avoiding that has led them because they started off with the work here and then they're like, I'm just going to stay busy. And that it led them to dreaming about you as well, missing you, thinking about you, feeling that strong connection, um, and wanting it, you know, keeping it a secret that they want this life with you and that you are everything to them. The lovers here, you know, you're the relationship that they want. They are in love with you. Um, let's go ahead and see what they're holding back from telling you here in these messages. So let me get three messages plus one bonus message from this person on Scorpio's mind. Okay, so first thing that comes out when they're reflecting on things and, you know, contemplating on things um, and how it didn't work out, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Now, this did come out in a 50-50 energy, which tells me maybe at first they were like, whatever, you know, or they tried not to, to think about it too much. Like, that's fine. Um, because our emotions can get the best of us. And when we're angry, that can really play a part of like, I don't care. So, and I, you know, felt you, I felt, I feel that you felt the same way. If I can get my words out, they're going to stumble through their words when they approach you, but just do prepare to hear from this person again, because they want to come rushing back. Um, and the more that, you know, they're being given these things of like, uh, insight, their intuition is really, you know, Hey, come on, come on, listen to me. Um, and having dreams about you, they can't avoid it. It's there. So you don't know how hard it was to let you go. This is something they have reflected on. The pain exists there. It was very difficult. Um, you, they even hurt like when you two broke up or whatever, this felt like the most difficult day for this person. I feel you leaving me behind. See that spiritual and energetic connection that you two have, um, especially energetic, you know, your energy had intertwined with theirs and it's strong and they feel that you are moving on, leaving them behind, which causes them pain. Um, and they're trying to work through it, trying to keep themselves busy, 
I want you. So Scorpio, you know, they're not over you. This person wants you. They dream about you, a life they could have with you. They love to dream about you. They want things to be better. They want to, you know, have that relaxation and rest of having you back. Um, but finding out the truth crushed me. So, you know, something that they found out, this is, comes out as, um, you know, finding out the truth, maybe you moving on, there might've looked into some information. Somebody might've told them something and that made them feel crushed. And maybe the ending between the two of you as well was uh, due to something, you know, the truth coming out and, um, whatever that truth was felt very difficult to this person. I'm not going to say that it wasn't difficult for you because it does feel difficult for you as well. I wish I had treated you better. So this is the reflection of, you know, this is the additional card that came out. You had four, now one more, five messages. Um, so they wish they had treated you better. And this is something that they really want. And they want to come rushing in and they don't want to miss, you know, that chance. But I do see this person struggling to make that happen with the pain that they're dealing with that they're not um, healing from just yet. So I regret lying to you. This person have lied to you about something as well. They found out the truth, which crushed them about a situation um, between the two of you, but they wish that they, they had treated you better and regret lying to you. And I feel like because you're moving on Scorpio, this person's like, why didn't I do better? Why didn't I treat you better? And I, they're reflecting, you know, things are coming around for them to pay attention to because they tried to avoid it. And, um, like I said, just prepare this person, um, reach out to you. It's a pretty good chance they're going to. And when they do, it comes off as a, Hey, blah, 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 blah. And they stumble through their words. Um, they're like, Oh, that was so embarrassing. I don't know. Scorpio is going to think I'm so dumb, whatever. Um, but right now, they have to deal with the pain, you know, how hard it was, the pain that they're feeling, and they have to start that self-care and love journey before they do reach out to you. Otherwise, it could be a disaster. Now, like I said, for some of you, they're just going to rush in and be like, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.